Where did the COVID-19 virus come from? Uh, everybody wants to know the answer to that. Everybody except WHO. Uh, all right, so Walker Wildman, Ed Vitagliano, I'm Tim Wildman. This is big news now, Walker, because a lot of folks uh, who a year ago said the idea of the uh, COVID-19 coming from a lab in China was ridiculous. Yeah, in the early weeks and months of the pandemic, uh, there were many theories out there, not conspiracy theories, just theories out there and discussions about where the virus came from. And one of the theories that actually seemed pretty viable was this Wuhan uh, virology lab in Wuhan, China, just mm -hmm. a, a couple miles away right. from the wet market where the virus supposedly came from. Well, many people were talking about, did this virus come from the Wuhan lab? And they were immediately shot down by the media and by the Democrats of this, this being a and conspiracy the, And the theory. liberal fact checkers. Yeah, and the liberal fact checkers. Well, as it turns out, this, uh, this theory about it coming from the Wuhan lab actually has some credibility. Yeah, and who's saying so? Well, Dr. Fauci, <laughs> Dr. Fauci, who flip, uh, flop, who, Fauci. who 12 months ago uh, said there's absolutely no way this came from the Wuhan right. lab. Now he's saying it's actually plausible. Now he's saying basically Trump was right. <laughs> President Trump, Senator Ted Cruz, uh, uh, several other conservative, Rand Paul, Rand Paul, a, a year ago were saying, hmm, wonder if this came from the Chinese. Some of them were saying it did come from the the Chinese uh, lab in Wuhan, China. Right. And uh, who knows whether it was released uh, intentionally, some think that, or maybe the more likely thing is that it was released, uh, it escaped unintentionally at this lab. But here we are, and the people who were condemning uh, Trump, for example, are having to eat their words. Yeah, I, I hope that when the history of this pandemic is written, uh, and may, may not even have to be history, you know, like 50 years from now, maybe in five years, we're gonna have a much clearer picture of the mistakes that were made by those who are the supposedly the experts. And, uh, and we are gonna see much more clearly that I think as we're talking about, this did escape from the lab in Wuhan. And the cover up perhaps is going to be in part because of the influence of the communist Chinese government over the World Health Organization. And in some respects, uh, maybe the media in this country who sided with the Chinese simply because President Trump right, blames right, China. Right, right, right. And the reactionary uh, position taken by the U.S. media was whatever Trump says has right. to be wrong and we're going to stick right. to it. And I think they're going to be embarrassed right. when the truth comes out. Dr. Fauci, in this case, uh, he's saying it could have come from the Wuhan uh, uh, laboratory, even though a year ago he said that's ridiculous. So, uh, wear your face masks. No, don't. We'll see you next time on Reason and Company.